All right, today I'm going to talk a little bit about playing. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about playing relaxed. So, probably most of you know that tension is a problem in performance, in playing saxophone, and that by alleviating tension, physical tension, emotional tension, anxiety, all those things are positive and move you towards a a better state of mind when you play. So a couple practices that I like to come back to that have helped me play more relaxed over the years um, uh, come from my meditation practice and also from studying Alexander technique and different postural awareness techniques, Feldenkrais and a handful of others. But some of the simple practices that I've kind of come up with over the years, um, I'll kind of outline in this video. So one of the most important ones is just a sitting with your horn and trying to scan for tension anywhere in your body. So you can sit uh, at a chair, your practice chair, and you can do this standing. I do it standing as well. I usually do the standing version downstairs and anywhere between a minute to 10 minutes if you have the the patience and discipline you can sit for 10 minutes or stand for 10 minutes think about the fact that most of our solos when we improvise are around three minutes long if you record yourself at various sessions gigs recordings usually we solo for about three minutes. In, in any case, that's my average. And so if you can s maintain uh, awareness of tension for three minutes, you're in a good a sweet spot for at least having enough focus and concentration to mitigate uh, tension as it begins to manifest in your body. So sitting here in the chair uh, with your hands on the instrument, kind of in a position where you might play, you can even have the mouthpiece in your mouth and you're trying to lengthen a couple of the Alexander uh, thoughts will be will come in handy or directions uh, releasing the neck so the head can go forward and up so the back can lengthen and widen those are great things to think about you can google uh, and do a search for Alexander uh, phrases or directions and those things are great to think about while you're sitting so lengthening and widening the back, releasing the neck. What you'll find, as I'm finding right now, when I think about releasing the neck, my neck strap's a little too high so that when I release the neck, it feels like the mouthpiece is keeping me from being able to kind of get my neck to go forward, which is this way, and up, which is towards the ceiling. So. Um, So I'm going to loosen it a little bit. And those angles uh, with the neck strap and the instrument should be considered to be always changing. If you're standing, if the bottom of the horn is closer to the body or further from the body, the, the neck strap distance needs to change. It needs to be something that's completely uh, movable. In a gig, in practice, it needs to be able to be moved and not in a static position. It needs to always be adjusted to match your body in its multitude of different positions and postures. So I, I prefer a neck strap that has that ability. I don't like ones that have a basically hold the, the distance from the neck in place. So then you sit and scan for tension. You can do some of the Alexander uh, suggestions or thoughts or directions. The other thing I think about is the weight of my body on this on my sit bones. You have two bones in this in your seat that are your sit bones, and they're basically the equivalent of your legs when you're sitting, your feet when you're sitting. So you can feel the weight evenly distributed there. You should feel as though gravity is thrusting you upward and towards the ceiling. 
and so I'll spend a lot of time just sitting here with the horn, either sitting or standing, and sometimes I'll move the mouthpiece over so that I have a lot of freedom in the neck so that I can really feel uh, my neck released and free. The point is, is that you're trying to associate the physical act of holding the saxophone with a relaxed state. It's like a conditioned response. You hold the saxophone and you become relaxed. This will help with tension on the gig, recordings, sessions, because holding the saxophone will make you relax instead of make you tense or make you have anxiety. You'll, you'll start to associate holding the saxophone with a, a safe space, so to speak. Relaxed, calm, balanced, focused, centered, and calm. Uh, and those are states that you want to foster as a player. It will help. So that's the one of the most important practices that I do to help me maintain a fairly relaxed state when I perform. Um, the standing version is identical. You just stand and do the same thing. Kind of demonstrate that a little bit. So again, I'm doing a few of the Alexander directions, back lengthening and widening, widening, neck release so that the head can go forward and up, and basically thinking about uh, extending the length of all the joints between all the joints, extension, expansion, and feeling like the body is expanding in all directions. It's a very good visualization for uh, creating a calm and relaxed state. So you can do this and listen to music, which is something I also do. I'll hold the horn standing or sitting in a posture of performance, and I will listen to an album or listen to one track. It's really great because you want to also associate the act of listening to a relaxed state while holding the instrument. Because ostensibly when you perform, you're holding the instrument in a relaxed state, and you're listening and responding. So you're basically practicing, associating holding the instrument with listening and staying relaxed. It's great habits to foster and cultivate as an artist, as an improvising artist. So that's the main thing I do to practice staying relaxed in performance or while playing the saxophone. And I hope you find that helpful. And I'll see you on the next one.